five seconds from now, imagine looking up and realizing the sky has been hacked because Earth suddenly has Saturn's rings, and they're not subtle. Overnight, a glowing band slices across the sky, so bright it casts shadows at night, brighter than the full moon ever was, and within one day, the planet feels different. The rings don't float randomly, they sit in Earth's equatorial plane, which means if you live near the equator, they stretch from horizon to horizon, while near the poles you barely see them at all, instantly reshaping how the world looks depending on where you stand. Every 24 hours as Earth rotates, the rings rise and set like a second permanent sunrise, and over 365 days, one year, the seasons get weird, because during parts of the year, the rings block sunlight, cooling entire bands of the planet while other regions heat up, shifting weather patterns, jet streams, and rainfall in ways no forecast can fully predict. Nights become unreal. The rings reflect sunlight even after sunset, erasing true darkness for months at a time, confusing animals that evolved around a lunar cycle and humans whose sleep starts to drift. Satellites become a nightmare because the ring system made of billions of icy fragments orbits dangerously close, forcing engineers to redesign spaceflight or risk collisions every single launch. Over 10 years, cultures change. Calendars, myths, art, even religions reorient around the constant presence in the sky, while astronomers realize eclipses are now daily events somewhere on Earth, as the rings carve shadows across the surface. And here's the part that brings you back to the beginning. After 365 days, when you finally think the rings feel normal, you look up again and feel that same shock you felt on day one, because the sky no longer feels like a background. It feels alive, watching. And five seconds from now, you'll imagine it again, because what if Earth had Saturn's rings?